much too much stuff at my at my fingertips to understand what to do, right? So I was always nudging at the music needs to like, come on, let's go, let's go forward, let's go do this. And one time we had some we had some dancers, and I kept looking at him trying to cue four, going to four, and he stayed in two for like five tunes in a row. He would not budge, and he wouldn't budge. I would do everything in my, in my power to make him budge. And we drove to the gig together. And he was quiet. He never said anything to me the whole gig about it. He just like I was not even doing anything. And Cranky and I, we played so well together. And I'm like, all right, you know, he's, we're not we're not on the same page about this. And uh, we got in the car, and I said, Kurt, man, wh why didn't you go to the floor? The whole, like, like facing the whole gig. And he said, he looks at me, he's like, didn't you see those dancers out there? <laughs> oh, man. He's like, you know, and he's like, yeah, man. He's like, they, they want to feel, that's what they want to feel. You didn't see those dancers? And I was like, all right. And I didn't ask, I never questioned that again. So when you're playing, certain certain things are to facilitate dance. You got to remember where this music comes from. Yes, it's a dance music. Yeah. So when you're playing, your decisions should be about the dance, right? So let's play again. And this time, um, Ed is the drummer. You want to watch it. If they're feeling comfortable, smiling, dancing, you know you got it. Because if they can dance, if they can physically dance, they can physically play. All right, let's try. Ready? One, two, one, two, a one, two, three, a one, three, <laughs> four. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. 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 That's